Hey everybody, I'm Skojo in 360. You think you know 360 video, then you learn something new. And the thing that I learned about 360 video is there's really two major paths to it. It's not just all that Oculus goggle immersive stuff that you think it is. There's a whole nother realm called reframing or over capturing. So now, Let's break down what the difference is between immersive and overcapturing. Now, if you like what you see, this is just a smaller chapter from a larger video called Becoming a Masterclass. So you can check that out on my channel. But for now, let's get you up to speed. I'll catch you on the other side. A lot of people don't know this, but there are two very distinctive different avenues to take with 360 video. The first one is possibly the one that's the most popular now. It's called immersive, and that is exactly what it sounds like. You either have your uh, goggles or your smartphone over your eyes, or even Facebook and YouTube now are allowing it on desktop where you can scroll around with some keys or uh, drag and look around. Either way, it's a fully immersive experience where your viewer can look around. Now, there's some good sides and bad sides to that. Um, the hard part of it is, is that when it's fully immersive, you don't know where your viewer's looking. You can kind of guide them towards things, but you're not gonna know exactly where your viewer's looking at any given time. Personally, I like to use voiceover when using immersive stuff because First of all, again, it's a capture you in the moment type of thing. So people are looking around. You don't know exactly where they're looking, but they'll listen to you. So build your story mostly off of a narrative and recognizing that your viewer will not necessarily be looking where you want them to because you have fully immersed them in an experience. So immerse them in that experience. The other format is one that is starting to catch fire now, and I think for at least a while is going to be the real future of 360 video, and that is what they call either reframing or overcapturing. What that is is taking the 360 degree data and flattening it into a more traditional look, like a 2D flat video, but you still have access to all the 360 degree footage, so that opens up a whole new ballgame. Reframing or overcapturing 360 footage gives you something that is traditional looking on the front, but the perspectives and the angles and the ways that you can do things in the edit bay with this footage are things that you would never have been able to do until 360 was perfected. Now, I wouldn't say it's perfected yet. Once you get it into your phone or your edit bay, you can mess around with just about any axis you want, the yaw, the pitch, the roll, and create some amazing borderline psychedelic looking footage. So my recommendation when it comes to which direction to go, if you want somebody to just be immersed in an experience, like maybe you're bringing a hot pizza out of the oven from your business, you might wanna just do an immersive video. But if you want something that is both traditional looking and completely non-traditional, you might think about doing the overcapture or reframing. Boy, immersive and overcapturing are so very different, but they're both so very cool. So congratulations on sitting through my little chapter. Again, this is a smaller chapter that was taken out of a larger video called Becoming a Masterclass. So check that out and please, please hit that subscribe button. I love my subscribers because you're all so dang pretty, but to also hit that bell on the side, uh. yeah, and you'll get a notification every time I make new content. I'm Skojo in 360, you're very pretty. We should talk sometime. Give me your number and I'll see you around.